The Bargain Game Hunter is back, baby. That's right, it's time for our first pickups of 2024. Let's do it. Everybody and welcome to the first ever Bargain Game Hunter episode of 2024. Well, the first one that I filmed in 2024. Obviously, I still have a video that I haven't released as of the time of this recording. I might have already by the time this comes out. Um, that I started filming back in October. <laughs> um, but actually, I think September even. But uh, that was delayed for various reasons, um, but now uh, we're kicking off 2024, and uh, I figure it's time to bring back my most popular series um, now that I finally am able to do that. So um, we're gonna kick things off with a couple new pickups. Um, now these are interesting. Two are from Amazon and one is from Limited Run and not just a VGP limited run pickup, an actual order from limited run. And I'll explain that one in a second. We'll start off with Amazon, um, where I, I've i been, of course, looking at deals in gaming, mostly because I missed out on pretty much the entire holiday season. All those great deals I wasn't able to take advantage of. So anytime I find a particularly good deal, um, I try to take advantage of it. And I think I found a couple decent ones. So we're gonna start off with Samba de Amigo Party Central on the Switch. Uh, it's a rhythm game based on the classic Samba de Amigo series. Um, this was on sale for 15 bucks, which normally I think it's 40. So I thought that was a pretty darn good deal for a game that came out at the end of 2023. So pretty happy to check it out and see how the brand new Samba de Amigo plays. Um, the next one is a game that is going to be featured in a new event that we're gonna do. Um, now, you might remember that I started a series on the channel where I play through a theme park in Park Beyond, which I still haven't finished as of the time of this recording. All the videos are filmed, I just have to edit them. Um, and I'm going to do that. So that series will be finished at some point. But I'm gonna start a new theme park series. And the reason why is because there's now three big theme park sim games on console. And I've decided I want to compare them all. So I'm going to make parks with all three of the big theme park sim games and see which one is the best. Um, of course, I already have Planet Coaster. I've had that for a while and I have Park Beyond. So I got the most recent one, which I had to get for PS5 because the PS5 version was cheaper for some reason. I'm not sure why, but that's fine. We have Roller Coaster Tycoon Adventures Deluxe on the PS5. So this is a deluxe version of the game that's out on the Switch, uh, which came out a little while ago. Didn't get amazing reviews, but apparently this has been enhanced by a fair amount. So I figure I might as well give it a shot on PS5. Um, this was an Amazon warehouse deal, which as you can see, I don't know if you can see it or not. There's like a, like a gash in the case in the front. So I think that's why this game was put on clearance. I mean, the, the actual game itself is perfect. Um, but the, the case has some external wear and tear to it. But I think I only paid like 26 bucks or something for this. So this is normally a $50 game or 40, something like that. So either way, I did a pretty good job there. So yep, there's those two. And then the last one, which we're actually gonna do a mini unboxing for as well, is from Limited Run. So Limited Run, uh, as I mentioned in my previous uh, Bargain Game Hunter video that came out at the end of 2023, where I opened my Bill and Ted special edition. Um, they lost the rights for the Bill and Ted games, even though that game literally just came out. Um, so, but they didn't just lose those. They lost licenses to a number of titles and had to clearance out their stock of anything relating to those licenses. 
So some of those involve Turok, um, I think Zombies Ate My Neighbors, Ghoul Squad, like there were a few different titles where they had to clearance everything out. And they did it with a sale where every single day the percentage would go up until you got to the final day where it was 50% off. Now, I could have waited for this. I ended up snagging it with 40. The only reason why I did that is because a lot of the other games that I was interested in sold out before it hit 40. Um, this was one of the last things that I was kind of interested in. I wouldn't say it was like a dire need, but Considering what it is and considering what it includes, I figure it was kind of worth it. Um, and it's a game I've never played and I've heard good things about. So yeah, I, I'm pretty happy. So we have the Star Wars Racer Revenge Special Edition on the PS4. So it includes this like big old school, like PC style box. It's a really nice quality box, has renders of the game on the back. Now, if you don't remember this, this is the PS2 game um, that came out for Star Wars Episode One Racer. Um, I don't know if it was a port or if it was just like a remaster of the, the one that came out on like PlayStation. But it came out on PS2 and uh, Limited Run did a remaster of it on the PS4 and Switch, although I got the PS4 version because I figured it would run a bit better on the PS4. And I don't think they even had the Switch version in stock, so. Um, but let's do a little unboxing and I'll show you everything that is included in this. Uh, so we're gonna start off with the Certificate of Authenticity for the Limited collection, um, Collector's Edition. It is numbered, so pretty cool there. Um, then, of course, we have the game. So we have Star Wars Racer Revenge on the PS4. Um, of course, the graphics are not exactly the greatest at this point, because uh, this is a PS2 game that's been ported to PS4. Um, in case you're curious with Limited Run, they don't like remaster games, like if, especially if it's an older game that's been brought into modern day, they don't remaster them. This is a port but it's a physical version of a port that's available on a modern console. So like this, this game, I guess it's available on PS4, probably digitally, or at least it was, it might not be anymore. Um, but now it's a physical copy of that port. So it's just a way to play older games on modern hardware, which is kind of nice. Um, so we got that. This is pretty sick. We have a Star Wars Racer Revenge Steelbook case. So that's always nice. I'm trying to decide whether I want to open my sealed game and put it in here or not. I might, there is the artwork, pretty nice. So yeah, pretty cool Steelbook case. Um, definitely like that. We've got some more goodies at the bottom of this um, box. So let's see, this is a postcard, I think. Oh, it's a piece of cardboard that has the Star Wars Racer Revenge logo on it. Yeah, I think these are postcards. Um, so we got another one of Anakin's Racer. Or no, this isn't Anakin's Racer. This is a different one, a racer. Um, this one is Anakin's Racer. I know Star Wars. Um, and then I believe this is a poster. Yeah, I'm not gonna open the whole thing, but yeah, this is a poster, um, pretty dope. Then the last couple things are actually just in top of the box. I'm not gonna pull them out, but they're pretty cool. We have a Pod Racer pin and a Star Wars Racer Revenge coin at the very top. So overall, I'd say Limited Run did a pretty solid job with this. I mean, it's a, it's a classic game. Um, a lot of people fondly remember Star Wars Racer, especially the arcade version. Um, so to not only have a pretty awesome game from the PS2 that's been ported, but also to have a number of nice goodies, a steel book case, a cool poster, um, and this box is really nice too. So I think they kind of knocked this out of the park. Now, normally this game would cost like $70. <laughs> 
I think more than that actually. Um, I got it for way cheaper because of the discounts. So that's, that's the main reason why I got it is because I got it fairly cheap with the discounts. And that's what I've got so far. I do have um, a couple more things coming from GameStop, which we will, you know, continuing the revival trend of this series, we're going to bring back the iconic condition reports uh, for those where we're going to check out the condition of a few pre-owned games that I picked up from GameStop. Um, two of which are older games, which I'm excited to add to the collection because I didn't think GameStop would carry these, but... Even though um, they've been saying that their older stock has been replenished a bit, I haven't really seen it. And of course, my store, at least the last time I went, which was months ago, um, got rid of all of their old stock, all their old games. So I don't know if they've replenished since then or not, but uh, I'll have to go at some point and find out. Um, but yeah, I got some other games coming, so we'll do a uh, condition report when those come in, and then a final recap for this first episode of 2024. All right, well, it has been a couple days and it is time for a GameStop condition report. Okay, so uh, these were ordered because I had a little bit of money um, and I wanted to start doing something because it had been so long since I've actually been able to like enjoy anything really <laughs> um the last few months have been really rough i'm sure if, if you watch my main channel you know that so i decided i wanted to treat myself a little by getting some games a couple games so i picked up a few um these are all pretty solid two of them are older gen games and one of them is a new game that i got on sale which was pretty decent i don't think it's the best price necessarily but i think it's a decent price so we're gonna open these up and we're gonna see how they are i think this one is one game so we're gonna open this one first let's see which one it is and of course the big if you haven't seen condition report um, the big thing is whether a game is complete, loose, you know, generic case, what condition it comes in. Because with GameStop, you never know. So let's see what we got. I feel the case. That's a good sign. Okay. So it looks like the, we have the cover art. This appears to be the original cover art. It's not the original case. So I'll have to take a look and see if everything's in it. But this looks promising. We have Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2 on the PlayStation 2. Now, I bought this game when it came out back in 2004. Um, it does not have the manual, but the disc is here. Um, but yeah, I bought this game when it came out for 50 bucks back in 2004. And since then, it, has, it did go up quite a bit in price. Um, if you didn't know, this is a... It's an ARPG kind of similar to Diablo. Um, but it was co-op and you could play up to, I think, four players. It might have been just two, but you could play multiplayer on the same console. Um, it was really fun. I really enjoyed the Baldur's Gate games. They have re-released them on current gen, but it's basically just a port, like, in HD. So I figured it'd be kind of cool to have a physical copy of the original again. I already got Baldur's Gate 1 because I bought it from Matt for cheap. So I figured I might as well get the uh, sequel. So, and, and it's gone down significantly in price. Originally, you couldn't find this thing for less than like 40, 50 bucks um, pre-owned, but now it's gone down to like 25. So I think they did pretty well there. Um, so Baldur's Gate, Dark Alliance 2 on the PlayStation 2. Uh, so I paid, as I go through my list here, right in front of me, I paid 24 because GameStop has a new promo where um, pro folks who um, who are pro members essentially get 5% off all used games, which is something, I guess. Um, so I paid 24 and it's worth 27. So I actually did okay on this. Um, and it came with the original cover art and the disc is in good shape. So you know what? I will gladly take that. I think that is a victory. This is interesting because I feel two things. One of them, I absolutely did not expect to have a case. So the fact that it might is interesting. Let's get the one that I, is a known quantity first. 
because this one was pretty much a guarantee yeah although it's not in great shape i don't know how someone butchered the case this badly already for this game but uh i guess they ripped it open with a i don't know but we have avatar frontiers of pandora on the xbox series x um i was excited for this game when it came out oh it's got codes in it maybe they'll work i'll have to find out also i didn't know this was a multi-disc game interesting um it's an avatar game it looks cool it's first person uh, i've heard kind of mixed things some people think it's really good some people don't i have to try it out of morbid curiosity and of course you know i uh used to work at avatar land or pandora the world of avatar at disney so i had to play the game um so yeah it looks interesting uh paid 57 for that which i mean that's normally a 70 dollars game and it did come out in december so that's a decent discount right off the bat uh and it's worth 52 so it's a little bit of a loss but not that bad um and yeah i mean i got a copy of that game i've wanted it for a while so this one this is complete oh no way yo I was not expecting this to come complete at all. That makes me so happy. We have Persona 4 Golden on the Vita. Complete. Wow. Like, you don't see complete Vita games very often. Now, I had this game when I originally had a Vita. Of course, I had to sell my Vita at one point. I have, a, I have one now because I bought one last year or the year before. I don't remember. Um, but I think it was two years ago. I didn't have that many games for it. I have like one sealed game that I bought off of VGP, which is a visual novel, but I really wanted to get this back. Now there is a physical copy that is coming out on current gen and I am going to get that so I can play it on, on Xbox. But I thought it would be cool to get Persona 4 Golden on its original hardware, which is the Vita. And the fact that it's complete is awesome um so yeah i'm pretty stoked and the fact that gamestop is actually stocking playstation vita games again is pretty cool so i'm very happy with that that's that's a huge surprise so i paid how much 28 for this which is not bad honestly i've seen this go for way more i think that some of these games because they've gotten ports actually both dark alliance and persona 4 golden because they've gotten ports to current gen the prices have gone down a bit. Uh, one that I also noticed was on GameStop site. I didn't buy it because A, it's too expensive, and B, it is also getting a port, is uh, Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door on GameCube. For a long time, that was a hundred plus dollar game. GameStop now has it for 80, so it's, the, the price is starting to go down. Um, and I think a lot of it is because all these games are getting ports. So, but yeah, Persona 4 Golden paid 28 and it's worth 27 complete. So pretty good. Um, I'd say overall, that was a really good score. I got three basically complete games. Two are absolutely complete. I'm missing the manual on Dark Alliance, but honestly, the fact that I got the original cover art, um, that's the biggest victory and the disc is in good shape. So I consider that a win. And then let's go over the stuff that I got earlier in the week. Uh, we'll start with Samba de Amigo, Party Central on the Switch. Fun looking party game, uh, pretty good discount on it. I think it's normally a $40 game. I got it for 15 on Amazon, can't go wrong there. I paid 15, it's worth 25 now. So pretty happy with that. Uh, next, and again, I kind of mentioned this before. I don't know when I'm gonna film it. It's probably gonna have to take place over weekends or like I'll do one episode on an evening. But I'm going to be doing a series, kind of a mini series, where I'm going to play three different tycoon style theme park games and build a theme park in each one and you and compare them all. Now, these are all console one games. Obviously, this type of game is much more playable on PC, but I don't have a PC to play on right now. So I have console ports of three of the most iconic, I guess, um, theme park games. So one of them, which I picked up recently, is Roller Coaster Tycoon Adventures on the PS5. Um, 
So we're gonna play this along with Park Beyond, which I have already played on the channel, and um, Planet Coaster. And I'm gonna make theme parks in all three of those games. And we're gonna compare them all and see which theme park game is the best. But yeah, I paid 26 for a pre-owned copy. Well, I guess pre-owned, it was Amazon Warehouse, so I guess kind of pre-owned. Um, and it is worth 40, so pretty good pick up there. And then last but certainly not least is the big kahuna of this week, although not as expensive as some other stuff, and that is the Star Wars Racer Revenge uh, Premium Edition from Limited Run Games. I already did the unboxing for it. It's got some cool stuff in it. Um, I'm pretty happy with this. I think it was a good pickup, and I do plan on playing the game, although I might not open it just yet. We'll see but it's a cool physical copy of a cool game that came out on PS2 that now I can play on my PS5. So pretty happy with that. It's got a bunch of cool stuff in it. Um, I paid 45 for that from Limited Run and it's worth 70. So that was a big bump in value. And that is gonna do it for this episode of The Bargain Game Hunter. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it. Yes, I know. Um, as of the time of this recording, I still have an episode that I partially filmed last year that I haven't finished that will be out. I just haven't, I don't know why I haven't filmed the rest of it. I just, I just haven't, I'm going to soon. So you're going to get another bargain game hunter soon ish. Um, I will say because of my job, I don't have a lot of free time, even on weekends. Um, cause I typically have to work at least a few hours on Saturday. So I don't know how often I'm going to be able to go out and do game hunting. I know I already haven't been doing nearly as much since I moved here, but it's even less now because of time and because I don't have a lot of money. So I can't say for sure certain how often episodes of this series are going to come out. I'm going to try to release them when I can. Um, so just bear with me if, if you uh, primarily watch this channel for Bargain Game Hunter, I apologize because um, it's it's gonna be a little rough for a bit. Um, hopefully things will start turning around and once they do, I can do more episodes of it. But for the time being, it'll be mostly like pickups related stuff and even then kind of spread out. Um, but in the meantime, we've got lots of other series that are going to be on the channel. Um, I'm going to be doing my roller coaster sim series. Um, of course, we've got Adventures in Shiny Hunting. I know it's not the most popular series, but uh, I enjoy making them. And hey, if you enjoy Shiny Hunting and Pokemon, you might enjoy them as well. Um, give those a watch if you haven't already. And uh, we'll try to release some other stuff on this channel throughout the year. So, you know, we'll, we'll get creative with it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, new videos come out whenever, so hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell, that way you know when new videos drop, and I will see you on the next episode of The Bargain Game Hunter. Bye-bye.